Evolutionists who are strong supporters of Darwin's views have one notion that is common. Design that is observed in living things does not require a designer. No engineer would say their inventions were the product of evolution. So why do intelligent people believe in evolution? Are they not looking at the evidence? Understand the Times with Roger Oakland, a radio program dedicated to equipping the body of Christ with biblical insights for contemporary issues. As an author and lecturer, Roger travels internationally, speaking on a wide variety of topics that will help you understand and analyze events of the past, items which are in the news today, and even those events which are yet to take place in the future. Now to help us understand the times, here's Roger Oakland. Inspiration can come from the strangest places. While perusing the Guinness Book of World Records, Roger Cram a physiologist at the University of California at Berkeley, saw an entry that startled him. He discovered that the world's strongest animal is the rhinoceros beetle because it can support 850 times its own weight. He then decided to test that claim in his own lab. Cram created a special yoke that was attached to the beetle's back by a piece of Velcro. On the ends, he glued lead weights. Then he put the beetles on a treadmill, he discovered that while they were not as strong as the Guinness Book claimed, they were still amazing. They could carry up to 100 times their own weight, although under that weight they could barely move. This feat of the rhinoceros beetle is compared to a 150-pound man walking a mile with a car on his head without tiring. Cram, being a physiologist, was particularly interested in what fueled the beetles to perform such a feat. While carrying 30 times their weight, the beetles consume only four times more oxygen than when walking without a load, an astonishing display of biochemical efficiency. Cram explored the rhinoceros beetle's skeleton and muscles to get to the bottom of this mystery. Like all insects, the beetles have a stiff exoskeleton, and it is likely that it is so exceptionally strong that it can carry loads without requiring much work for the muscles. Uncovering this mystery could be a great help to researchers trying to build mini-legged robots for tasks like mining the moon. A robot with legs of hollow steel is essentially a mechanical beetle. So far, engineers who make robots have not been concerned about energy consumption in their designs. However, in the future, it's believed that lightweight, energy-efficient robots will be very important. For this reason, Scientists will continue to try and resolve the mystery of the rhinoceros beetle so that engineers will be able to gain insight and knowledge for their future inventions. Now, as I read this account about how a Berkeley physiologist had been studying a beetle so that rocket scientists could use this information to develop robots that could be used on the moon, I couldn't help but laugh. The beetle is supposed to have developed these incredible characteristics by millions of years of random chance events. How can intelligent people miss the point? If the beetle can evolve by chance, then why can a robot not evolve? Why do we need engineers for such devices to come about? Without an intelligent designer, life could never have come into existence. Accepting there is a creator is an intelligent decision. Too bad there are so few intelligent people willing to make the choice. I'm Roger Oakland. This has been a biblical perspective to help understand the times. Roger Oakland's 13-part series, Searching for the Truth on Origins, is available on DVD. But now, in addition, you can get the Leader's Guide Manual. It's designed so that you can take your group through home study or Sunday school. Fully illustrated with facts and visuals, Searching for the Truth on Origins deals thoroughly with the creation evolution topic. To order the DVD series, Searching for the Truth on Origins, now available with the Leader's Guide Manual, visit understandthetimes.org, www.understandthetimes.org.